Hi, this is HNN Gossip, and I'm Kemi Omolulu Liar on May 13th, 2019 in Nigeria. Well, a lot of you have had all these housing problems in Nigeria. Let's talk about housing. Housing is a crisis in Nigeria. There are not enough houses. And when we say that, we mean there are not enough apartments people can live in. People are living in the families' houses, the friends' houses, the sisters' houses, and all that. When I came back from America and Canada, I lived in my father's property. My father has two houses. My grandfather's house, Molete, which many people know, and my dad's house in Agudi, which he built for the children. Now, that particular house is for the children. In other words, all of us have our rooms in there. It's a nine bedroom house and when we come from abroad, we stay there. When I first arrived, I used to stay in that particular house. I have my own apartment now, okay? However, many people don't even have that opportunity to get apartments. Here in Nigeria, you guys are renting houses and apartments and flats by the year. Did you know that abroad you don't pay for the year? You pay by the month. Rent is paid monthly, not yearly. So that culture of yearly stuff is mental slavery that homeowners, landlords, and also property owners are using to abuse you mentally. Mental slavery starts that way. And then you have a shortage of housing. Let me give you an example of Laura Ikeji. Laura Ikeji lived with Linda in her Banana Island home, okay, with Kanu when they got married. As a married couple, she was living there for a long time, okay? He's there in and out, in and out. And people wonder, how come Linda, Laura's living here? You know, Laura had a baby. Laura, she's living with her sister, okay? First of all, Laura is Kanu's second wife, so she's not the first wife. Many of you don't know that. Okay, and in Nigeria, what we have is second wives. If your father has a second wife, my dad does. Second wives tend to live in a separate property from the first. And a lot of times, these men are living with the first wife, and the second wife has a different property that they have for her. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, if they don't have that second property for them, or they don't have the money to afford that second property, the wives are not all living in the same roof half the time. And it depends on the culture. Here in Yoruba land, we had Ari Shekola, who was a billionaire, and all his wives lived in separate properties under that compound. And some even lived outside the compound. So with Laura Cage, you're living with Linda for a long time. Even Kanu will be there with them and go out and all that stuff is another example. Okay, with me coming home and living in my dad's property, I really don't need to rent something because living in my room, the room I stay in when I come from America, is still my room till today. It's like a hotel room, bathroom, enclosed everything. I don't have to pay electricity. I don't have to pay for borehole or pay for water, pay for anything. I just live. So at the end of the day, okay, is it wiser to live in a family domain versus rent your own apartment outside? It's wiser to have your own apartment and know your bills and be independent. With family domains, you might have arguments, fights, different things. Oh, the light music is too loud. The, you turn the light on too much and all that stuff. So how do we curb that? We curb that by speaking out against housing. Housing is a crisis in the United States too, okay? Dr. Benjamin Carson is in charge of housing over there, okay? And the housing problem causes an issue. At the same time, when you're moving towards northern Nigeria, you cannot live in comfort all the time over there. You have insurgency. Let's talk about places like Abuja, where it's still northern Nigeria, but it's still stable. Housing is very expensive over there. But if I got a job now in Adamawa State, how am I going to live in a place where they're going to raise my house and shoot up the neighborhood because you're Boko Haram? So it gets to be a problem paying rent for the year. Some people have paid rent for the year. The houses are already gone, blown up, whatever. So let's tell the government to change what's going on with the housing crisis. Like I said, there is a housing crisis in America too. You can look that up. But the one in Nigeria, there's not enough houses. And when people are building houses and estates and this, everyone has a new estate in their city. Oh, there's a new estate. Who's going to buy all those 50 million Naira houses? Okay, I saw one estate in Lagos, 18 million, 20 million. It's still millions. People don't have that kind of money. So there should be affordable housing, just like in America, where they have maybe, oh, they call it council flats in London or affordable housing that the government owns or the government has, and they'll charge you a little bit of rent. We need more of that in Nigeria. 
Even the rich are living with their friends and family. I don't care if you live abroad and you come home or you do this or you do that. Many people now are building their own houses in Nigeria, putting a caretaker there and going back to their abroad locations. Save your money and build your house one day. May God provide for all of you to be able to build your house in Nigeria or wherever you are. I'm Kemi Amalolu Lawyer. H&N Gossip is the tag I used for this because it boils around some of the celebrities I use in the middle of it, but it's actually H&N Community. Okay, have a good one.